Hello, this is Joel Kirschman. Thank you for spending the time with me to view this demonstration of the Visual System Simulator WiMAX Mobile Solution. The VSS signal generator is fully compliant with IEEE 802.16e specification. It can be either configured as an uplink or a downlink source, and one has control of various parameters such as FFT size and modulation type. In addition, a variable output bandwidth can be specified as well as the power level of the signal. The WiMAX receiver is automatically configured based on the transmitter settings. What this means to you as the system designer is that you can minimize the time in setting up a simulation or minimize the overhead and um, go on to do uh, receiver sensitivity type of analysis. Uh, VSS supports uh, many user-defined measurements as well as the standard specific measurements. Uh, the VSS uh, WiMAX uh, signal generator is built from the ground up. Uh, that is to say we took a hierarchical approach to designing the source. Uh, this is advantageous to the baseband designer in the sense that we allow you to drill down into the block and see the basic elements that are used to create the signal and if you choose you can go in and uh, customize the signal uh, to your needs. Uh, with that said, uh, why don't we move on to the product and look at a, uh, a typical VSS test bench. Uh, this test bench was designed uh, keeping in mind the the needs of a uh, PA designer or uh, that is to say this test bench can aid the, the power amplifier designer in uh, predicting uh, conformance tests. Specifically we can uh, look here at this graph and monitor output power uh, versus uh, EVM. Uh, the red line here in this graph was generated from a previous simulation and uh, it represents uh, the EVM with just the uh, power amplifier in the, uh, in, in the RF link. If we look at the actual system diagram, we can see our, our signal source. Uh, we're simulating amplitude and uh, phase and balance, as well as DC offset and uh, phase noise. And uh, right after uh, the phase noise, uh, there is our PA. And uh, we're using a vector signal analyzer in the test bench to do the physical EVM measurement. If we look at another measurement here, we can see the uh, signal prior to amplification and after amplification uh, relative to the uh, spectral mask requirement. And uh, we can look at one more measurement here and uh, we can see the uh, complementary cumulative distribution function or CCDF, CCDF uh, prior. Uh, to amplification and after amplification. And uh, if, once again, if we uh, take a look at the big picture, uh, this test bench will allow you to uh, predict conformance tests or conformance measurements. And uh, you can have a visualization of uh, the IQ plot as well as the AM to AM characteristics of the device under test and uh, spectral mask. Um, with that said, if you do have any more questions about VSS, please feel free to go to our website and you can watch the demos on demand of VSS. It goes in more in depth than this presentation. And um, thank you for spending the time with me in viewing this particular demonstration.